Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue Hola muy buenas a todos, estamos aquí por donde habíamos tejado en The Wolf Among Us y quito el pause por donde habíamos tejado y pues nada, este es el inicio del tercer capítulo de The Wolf Among Us y pues nada, a ver si pasa los los inicios del capítulo y realmente, bueno no sé muy bien, o sea en comentarios me gustaría que me dijerais más o menos quién creéis que es el asesino o más o menos que, que vuestras expectativas realmente sobre todo lo que está pasando aunque yo realmente sigo creyendo de que Craig no está del todo involucrado oficina del trabajo está buscando pruebas se supone I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder they'll eventually warm their way out on their own but until they do you're going to be sore Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <coughs> That's a Don't mierda. go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Vale, me alegro. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Big B. Ya Big B lo llamo Wolf. Porque me gusta más. So, ver, todo lo que ha pasado. Recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. Más que nada es eso. I know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Not about cover. <laughs> Qué mal. Once Puto mono. Once he all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. But I I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Y el espejo Just, se puede reparar entonces. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if I mean, this is going to sound crazy. Que... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just I'm as confused as you are to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's he was a conniver, a, a coward. A liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes. Just que no sé, es que. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Deal. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. 
Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What what is is it? It? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Pobrecito. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Alright. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that- Never mind that. Come help me look. Pobre monetete, yo tampoco tenía la culpa. Vale, tenemos que buscar alguna prueba. La lámpara siempre está ahí. Deberíamos hablar con el monete y decirle que no es culpa suya. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Qué mal. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Claro. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Vale. Libro de fábulas. El escritorio. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Vale, un libro. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Se supone que son como Buffkin, do you know what was here? Materiales o algo así. El anillo. It's a ring at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you, glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover, I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? 
Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my Yo business. Que no, si me, me este tío, la oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing! You're a secretary! He's the sheriff! And none of you were chosen to run this office! Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, oh. I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was, and I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Eso también, ¿verdad? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Even if they're not there, the Tweedle's office might have something on Crane. We're the witch. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really o sea, worry about el it. a la oficina de los tíos o a la de Crane? Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Tenía bastante interés este ir a lo de Crane, así que tenemos que decidir si ir a lo de Crane o a lo de los pequeños. Yo. So you leave Crane alone and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Nah, 
Vale, esto no sé por qué no está traducido, pero tengo que elegir entre tres lugares. Creo que uno es el bar de Holly, la oficina de o apartamento de Craig. No sé vosotros a dónde iríais. Eh, en comentarios si alguno cree que hay, si vas a otro sitio pasan cosas diferentes, me lo decís. Pero yo creo que debería ir al apartamento de Crane porque estaba bastante interesado el otro. Aunque me gustaba mucho la idea de ir a las oficinas de Di porque nunca he ido y no sé realmente cómo es, pero tampoco he ido al apartamento de Crane. Pero es que el apartamento de Crane no sé si realmente supongo que sea su casa normal. No creo que... And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Vale, pues nada. Nos vamos a ir para allá. A las oficinas. Oh, no, a las oficinas. A la casa del tío este. Y a ver qué tal. Se supone que está allí. Aunque tengo aquí a mi perrete pesado. Ven, una suerte. Aquí lo tenéis. <risa> pesado que es y bueno pues esta es la habitación no realmente no sé cómo será aquí no sé era esta no la 3 pero porque está abierta o sea no tengo ni idea voy a abrir la puerta Rain. y queda una hora y 55 minutos o sea que hay que darse prisa encima Realmente no sé qué hubiera pasado si nos hubiéramos ido al otro sitio. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Armario de vinos. Vale, tenemos que buscar alguna prueba concluyente respecto a él. Retrato. Imagen. ¿Quién sabe la imagen? ¿Y la chica que hay al lado? Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Armario de vinos. Same brand we found in the open arms. Es que todas las pruebas apuntan hacia él, pero yo creo que le tendieron una trampa y que él estuvo ahí con tesoro automático, maletín de profesor, escritorio. Ya, vamos primero a ver. Aunque no queda mucho de gameplay, pero al menos una libretita. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. En sus antiguos días. Una estatua. Antes de mirar el contestador. Ah, este es de Sleepy Hollow. De su cuento. Escritorio. Un sobre. Notas. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. ¿Y para qué le ha escrito una carta si la iba a matar? Yo es que creo que no ha sido él. De verdad, cada vez estoy. Ay, Tiene que haber alguien más, alguien que no haya salido a lo mejor aún. Dinero. Man, this is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Confiscamos el dinero. No lo necesitamos ahora, así que una llave. Una llave de algún sitio. Might be useful. Pues sí. Pues nada, chicos, me parece que voy a dejar aquí el gameplay en el siguiente capítulo. Ya miraremos el contexto automático. Así que espero que os haya gustado, comentar que os ha parecido y pues. Si averiguo qué hubiera pasado si hubiéramos ido a otro sitio, ya lo diré más adelante, al final de, de todos los capítulos o algo. Pero bueno, nada, si sabéis votos algo me lo decís por comentarios, así que venga, hasta la próxima, chao.